Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. RVs, people called liveaboards living on their boats, uh, and they're ordered to evacuate from Key West by noon on Sunday. So that's something that the officials are, are wanting you to do. That's kind of phase one of evacuations with these storms. And um, it, while it appears that Florida, or at least most of Florida, is out of the cone, Miami was in the cone. So we want to bring in Frank Rawlinson. He's the director of the Miami-Dade Emergency Management, especially at this time. Thanks so much for joining us. That's Frank Rawlinson of the Miami-Dade. Emergency Management Agency. Of course, another big story that we're following takes us to the West Coast. That's the wildfires that are just uh, going crazy across the West, Paul. They are. They're burning and uh, they're being actually in. in and I've actually used that tip of putting the plastic bags on your feet as socks. It really does help keep your uh, feet wet if you have to be out in the wetness of a tropical storm. So some great tips there. And of course, now is the time to be ready. We're keeping a close eye on Laura, but it's not just Laura, Jen, that we have to keep a close eye on. It's also Marco. Really unprecedented times that we're dealing with, with two storms taking aim at the U.S. mainland, kind of at the same time, and then also during a pandemic. I know. I, I'm quite dealing with the impacts of Laura. In fact, tourist Mecca, things like this, this, uh, I'm going to call it a cabana without a roof. Great for tourists, as are all of these beach chairs. Take a look down here. It's kind of business as normal at this point, at least when you're talking about business during a pandemic. However, it's things like the, these beach chairs that you see here. They become projectiles when you're talking about tropical storm winds. So while the weather should be fine for today, I do think probably by tomorrow, if the forecast holds and we still expect to see those tropical storm force winds here um, from Laura, these will likely need to be moved moved in so that they don't get, you know, blown around. Of course, when you're talking about tropical storm force winds, that's not going to have uh, as much of an impact on picking up and throwing things as, say, a Cat 1 or a Cat 2. But it's still going to bring us those issues here in Key West, even outside of the cone. That's the thing that all of South Florida really has to remember. Uh, you can kind of see that behind me, the waves are even picking up here. Um, we've got two.